Hey guys, my name is Jens. I'm the founder of Lundergraph, and I want to talk about cross API joints today. So let's imagine you have two APIs. One API gives you data about capitals in Europe, and the second API gives you data about the weather in a city. So what we wanted to do at Lundergraph is find a simple way to combine the data from two data sources. And the reason is, so we recently uh, launched the, the closed beta for our uh, API hub, the Wonder Hub, where you can share APIs the way you could share an NPM package. And one very important thing, if you want to combine different APIs is, uh, you probably want to join data across uh, different data sources. So we wanted to make that very simple. We wanted to make it kind of very, uh, GraphQL native or almost uh, GraphQL native. We want to use just a GraphQL syntax for that. And you shouldn't be building like complex uh, systems like, uh, for example, uh, federation or uh, schema stitching. So those are great solutions, but they come at the cost that you actually have to construct a schema uh, that combines data from different services. And that might not always be like the ideal case because you, you just want to join the two uh, data sources and move forward. You know, uh, maybe time to market is important and not, uh, and you don't have the, the resources to, to build up your, your own federated schema or something like that. So I'm not saying uh, federation or schema stitching are, aren't good solutions. They're amazing, but uh, sometimes something simpler uh, could be a lot more efficient. Okay, so how do we do it in, in Wondergraph? So let's get started with our new project. So we run Wonder Control init. That gives us our new project. Da, 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 da. Okay, cd.wondergraph and we run yarn. And let's wait until all the configuration is here. So the central point of a central point of configuration in Wondergraph, it's the Wondergraph config TS. So as you might already know, if you're familiar with Wondergraph, we configure everything using our TypeScript SDK. So uh, this is the only thing I have prepared here. So I introspect two APIs, a countries API, a weather API. We have namespacing in Wondergraph, which essentially means if we introspect two APIs, we can put them in a namespace so there will be no collisions between the APIs. And now I combine them into one application. So I take my countries. Uh, 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 countries and weather. Okay, so that's fine. And now we run wonder, oops, wonder CTL up dash dash debug. So that starts our dev environment. And you can see our APIs are being introspected and we see some uh, weird messages here because the query with uh, SpaceX is no longer valid, which is fine. So let's delete those. And now back to our initial story. So we want to build an API that gives us um, the, the capital of a country and the weather data for that capital. So let's say we create weather.graphql. So we probably have the country code as an input code. That's an ID, I think. And then let's start by figuring out the country with our code. Code, and then we have name and capital and what else? Maybe the currency. So that's pretty good. We save this and you can see API being saved here. So we have this weather endpoint. Let's open up my, uh, my Postman. So we can now in, input the code here. Let's say code is DE for Germany. And we get Germany, capital is Berlin and currency is Euro. Awesome. So that's half of the solution. 
So now we go a bit further. So we need a variable to store the capital. And so we say uh, capital, it's a string, and we don't want to expose it into our API, so we make it a tunnel. And then on our capital, we export us as capital, just like this. Okay, so now when we evaluate this field, the value or the, yeah, the, the response value is exported into the capital variable and we can use it for our join. So we've added a magic field to Wundergraph, which is join uh, or underscore join and it returns the query type. So here we can now uh, use the weather API. So we say get city by name and here we pass in our capital and then let's see what uh, fields we get. So we have uh, weather And there we have the summary and that has title and description and maybe what else do we have? Da, da, da. Clouds, timestamp, temperature. What do we get here? Actual, actual is fine. Okay, so once again, we query the country from our code. We get the capital. We export the capital into this variable, which is internal. And then we create a new query inside the first query with our magic underscore join field. And here we get data from the weather API using our capital variable. So let's store this. You see everything is updated. And now let's run this query again. And you can see we have our capital. And currently there's a clear sky in Berlin, which is awesome. And uh, we can check the same thing for, let's say, uh, the US. Capital is Washington DC with broken clouds. And I think it's a bit colder. And uh, let's check Great Britain. That's London. Uh, not so cold. I mean, it's the different timing. And we also have a clear sky in London. So yeah, that's our join. Here in the background, you can see the actual queries that are happening. And yeah, that's basically it. That's everything I wanted to show. If you want to uh, get some more info on how all this works, uh, go to the Wondergraph docs. We have a reference documentation. And yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.